Hi, my name is Dr. Hannah Hamlin and I've been living with type 1 diabetes for 17 years. I'm here to answer the question, does type 1 diabetes get worse with time? And I think this is an interesting question. It's, it's definitely one that I think could be thought of by someone who is more newly diagnosed. Um, and, and it's hard, it's hard when you have this new diagnosis of type 1 diabetes to really understand what your life is gonna look like or what this disease will look like for you in the long haul. And so this question really speaks to that. And, and I think that worse, of course, is a kind of a term that could be interpreted differently by different people. But from a clinical, just what happens in the human body standpoint with type 1 diabetes, after we have a diagnosis of type 1 diabetes, that means that typically we're still making some insulin. Now, that's not the case for everyone, but the majority of time people end up in what we call a honeymoon phase, which means your body is still making some insulin, but kind of the amount of insulin you're making is decreasing over time. And what we see is often that's about the six month mark, sometimes up to two years, I think is the longest that we kind of have it documented. But six months to two years is when we're making less and less insulin. We're still having that kind of autoimmune reaction where our beta cells are, are are being kind of killed off in a way where they're no longer able to make the insulin. And so what happens during that time frame is absolutely you might find that your insulin requirements change and certainly that's common and expected. Now once we're at a place where we're no longer making insulin then I don't personally feel that type 1 diabetes necessarily gets worse. Now, what can happen is if we have uncontrolled blood sugars that are putting stress on our body, putting stress on our other organs, over time when that adds up, that stress adds up, we do see more onset of chronic conditions, things like heart disease, things like um, loss of feeling in the feet, things like kidney challenges. Now, that absolutely could be interpreted as worse, but it doesn't have to happen. And we have quite a lot of data that say people who are able to keep their blood sugars within a healthy range without big highs and low swings are able to mitigate that. And so when I think about clinically from a human body perspective, does type one diabetes get worse with time? The answer is no, you know, not if you're, you're handling it and learning how to maintain normal blood glucose levels most of the time. Now, when we look at does type one diabetes get worse from a psychosocial perspective, you know, does it get harder from the, the way that we feel it impacts our quality of life, I think that's also a nuanced question to answer. And it can go either way. You know, certainly you'll hear about things like diabetes burnout, and that's just kind of with the stress of life and all the decisions that type 1 diabetes brings into life on top of things, it can get hard to want to show up every day for your diabetes in a way that's that's really as it kind of needs to be taken care of. Now, that's something that can happen, and it certainly does happen to quite a lot of people. Um, I think now we have more resources than ever to help people through that. There are a lot of great things that you can lean into if that were to happen. But personally, I think that type 1 diabetes has actually gotten better over time for me. Um, 17 years ago when I was diagnosed, I was in middle school, um, and, and really what I found that learning how to take care of my body well with diabetes really actually made things easier. I've learned how to eat in a way that works for me. I learned how to manage my blood glucose levels so they're mostly in range most of the time. Um, I've learned how to do everything that I want to do with type 1 diabetes, and so I don't feel like it's gotten worse. In fact, I, I think it's gotten better. And to take that a step further, I also think that type 1 diabetes has taught me a lot of incredible morals and diligence and dedication and persistence in a way that's gotten me to places in my life that I truly don't know if I would have gotten without it. And so I think that diabetes can get better over time if you put the work into learning, if you really cultivate a mindset that feels good with it. Um, and for me, it was also learning to step out of the victim mindset with type 1 diabetes. I had to stop thinking, woe is me, how unfortunate this happened to me. When I was able to stop feeling sorry for myself, accept it for what it was and try and find the good, that's when my life shifted and diabetes wasn't such a challenge. Now, it's still something I do every day. I still have highs and lows. I still got ups and downs with it, but I don't think it's gotten worse at all. In fact, I think it's gotten a lot better. So I hope that answers your question. Um, there are so many ways of looking at this question, but I, but I do think that um, we, we, to some extent, you know, have a choice for whether or not it gets better or worse. And it's absolutely possible for it to get better over time. So thank you so much.